Fez, it's been a, a busy few days. I had a nine goal thriller with Cambridge, and then, of course, on Monday, the FA Trophy victory. How would you sum it up? Oh, pleasing. Pleasing, yeah. It's been a, been a busy time. The Cambridge game was one of those freakish games that I think no one would ever have envisaged how that was going to pan out, but credit to our lads, I thought were magnificent on the night, um, how the game ebbed and flowed, but to then get clawed back to 4-4 four, four and go on and arguably have our best spell of the game after they'd equalised and really push and, and get the goal, um, credit to them because a lot of those lads hadn't played for a long time. Um, and then moving on to Wembley, uh, it's a cup final at the end of the day, it's just about winning. Uh, credit to Concord Rangers, who I thought were really good on the day and give us um, one hell of a difficult game, but thankfully uh, we found a moment with a little unusual guy that never gets, by unusual I mean doesn't pop up in those positions very often, but really pleased for him and um, yeah, a really good sort of captain's performance and a captain's finish for him. And what were the emotions like after the game? Yeah, fantastic. I'll be honest, at the full time whistle there was a little bit of relief in there as well because it was, they had given us such a difficult game. Um, when that calms down and the a bit of music and the lads with the trophy and the, and the champagnes everywhere, you, you have to realise that you've won a you've won a, um, a cup final and you have to enjoy these moments. And it says a lot of us been in this game for a long time and longer. And to go to Wembley, uh, two years running and win twice is is a really really huge achievement and a great achievement for the club. One more game to go. It's Cheltenham away and it could be a big day for them as well. They have the chance to win the league. Um, how's the preparation been going into it? Good, yeah. As you can imagine, there was some partying after the game. So I think even today, lads come in and possibly still a bit, still a bit weary, sort of mentally and physically. But now we had a good session today, and sort of kept it quite light and fun. And we'll have another session tomorrow, and we'll be ready to go. Because like everybody, you want to finish the season well. And at the end of the day, we're going to potentially the the, the champions of of League Two. So if we don't turn up, um, we'll, we'll soon find out about it. So. Well, the lads will go there and um, we'll, we'll prepare a team to, to hopefully go and get a result. It's about keeping it professional as well, especially after the high of the trophy final, keeping the minds focused going into the next game. Yeah, you have to because you don't want to end the season. Whilst we have ended the season well, naturally, with the last certainly two performances, you don't want to go and turn up and, and put on a really poor, sluggish display. Um, and we know Cheltenham have still got a lot to play for because whilst they're being promoted, they're going to want to win the league and they're going to want to be champions. So if we're not bang at it, um, we're going to give ourselves um, and problems, but we know all the lads we've got in the group we've got here, whichever team is, is, is picked to play, they'll, they'll be up for the game. And after the game at the weekend, you're yeah, looking forward to enjoying a break? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think everybody is. It's been a bizarre season that hopefully, for all the wrong reasons, we'll never see again with COVID. Uh, but it's also been an enjoyable season, first one in the EFL. And, just can't wait to get back next year. Fingers crossed everything goes well and, and we can have the fans back and, and we can all maybe enjoy next season what we, what we couldn't enjoy together this season. Best of luck for Saturday. Cheers, thanks.